All right, so now we're out by what used to be the pool house bathrooms. And I'm pretty sure you all know that that entire building is gone and everything's nice and leveled out at this point. So you're saying to yourself, okay, how come they're not pouring a foundation and how come we're not moving along with building the new building? Well, in fact, we are moving along. There's just one thing that's giving us a little bit of delay. It won't delay the project, but we're waiting uh, to put the forms in to pour the new foundation because when we marked out all of the uh, existing utilities, the gas lines in particular, we found out something very interesting that nobody ever would have thought of. Uh, Linthia, if we look around and go look at these little yellow flags that are around, these little yellow flags basically mark out where the gas lines are. And you see where the gas lines are, they run all along the lake. And they run around what used to be this little building. And then let's go back this direction over here. Let's walk this way a little bit. Follow these flags around. They run down along where all the pool pumps are. And they go out to where that little porta potty is that is the gas meter. Now that makes no sense at all because the only reason the gas is there is to feed these pool pump heaters. Can you see where the pool pump heaters are? So in the original work of figuring out where all the gas lines were, we have a gas meter close to these pool heaters. There is no gas in the past that goes to the uh, pool bathroom house. There's certainly nothing by the lake. And if I were to take you over by the other pool heaters on the east side of the community, there's another gas meter and another gas service over there. So the assumption from all the drawings that we had said the gas comes to this meter to feed these meters, to feed these pumps, and then the gas goes to the other meter from the street and feeds those heaters. Well, it turns out someone in their infinite wisdom had the gas line come here, it splits at that meter, it meters that for these heaters over here, and then it runs all the way behind this house around the lake and feeds those other uh, heaters on the other side of the property. Why is this important and what's it have to do with anything? Well, what it has to do with is where these, this gas line is, it's right under where the new building is going to go. So we have to pay somebody to move and relocate that gas line to somewhere that's not under the new building because it doesn't make sense to bury a gas line under the building foundation. And we run the risk, obviously, of rupturing it or whatever when we're doing all the excavation. So if you look at where this orange fence is between the pool and this, uh, where the new building's going to be, we're basically going to run a line from there to there and abandon all of this. That's going to take us about three weeks to get it all done and permitted. And then once that's done, we can move on to setting up the forms and excavating to do the foundation. We could actually just cap the gas now and do that, but we won't be able to get our uh, final inspections approved until the gas thing is fixed. And if we do that, we run the risk that if it rains, and it never rains in Florida, that uh, once we do the excavation, it'll wash out and have to be redone and redone. So we're not going to do that. So it's probably going to be about three weeks before you see us start to put the forms in to pour the foundation. The good thing is there's plenty of other work to do. Uh, the permits are moving along. So we're really not going to lose any time, but I'm just giving you that explanation so you, don't, you wonder why you're not seeing big excavators come in and get ready for the foundation for this building. While we're talking about that, if you follow online, you can see the three different permits that uh, we're waiting to get approval on. The building permit for the clubhouse, the one for the fitness center, and the other one for the site work, which is basically the parking lot. Those are all moving forward. We did, between last week and this week, resubmit again answers to all the questions for uh, on one of the permits, the second round of questions, on the other permit, the third round of questions. And we do anticipate that in the next three or four weeks, we should have the permits in our hand to move forward with 
both the clubhouse and the fitness center. So that's really good news. That means the clubhouse may actually be ahead of schedule. All right, uh, let's cut for a few moments because I want to take a walk to the other side of the property.